Kim is posting so many videos. Said no one ever, right? Thank you, Hannah. Actually, on that note, one thing that is a big goal of mine, especially now that we've got all this extra time, is I have this huge backlog of videos that I intended to upload, but either didn't finish because I completely forgot that I was doing them in the first place, or didn't finish because like a big project came up or something and I never got the chance to, and then it kind of felt like it wasn't relevant anymore. I have a video of a trip I did to China once. I have a video of my old houses and how shitty they were. That's quite fun that I wanted to share. I've got some videos of other things. See, this is what I mean. But now I've said it, there's the accountability. So that's one of my lockdown plans. Kim catches up. That's my YouTube project for the next three months. I feel like uh, time hasn't really happened since I was last here. But I did make a sketch this past fortnight, which by the way, Ro, fortnight, that's the word. Fortnite. It's a real word. It's a real word that exists. You're welcome. There's a woman outside. <laughs> that sounds creepy. There's a woman who's passing by outside with her dog and she's walking very slowly and I'm a bit scared she's gonna look at me. I live in such fear being on the bottom floor. Hannah, we, we have liquor stores. Not that we'd call them liquor stores. Don't know what we call them. We call them off licenses, but like off licenses aren't dedicated liquor stores. Off licenses are just the names of shops that are also licensed to sell alcohol, like normal shops, like corner shops and Tesco. Dedicated liquor stores are like posh though, or completely not posh at all. When I was underage, we used to buy our alcohol from a shop called Bargain Booze. And I guess that's exclusively a liquor store, but also with crisps. Also, something that I'm sure will shock and appall you is another thing that I wanted to work on over the next year or so anyway. And again, now that I'm in lockdown, I think it's gonna be more likely. And also a really valuable use of my time is reading because I haven't read a book in 13 years. I have not read a book in 13 years. I used to love reading when I was little. I read all the time, every day, always before bed. I had multiple books on the go and I loved it. It was the best. But then I got to like my teenagers and I just couldn't concentrate on it anymore. You know that thing everyone gets sometimes where you're reading but you're just reading the same sentence over again and you're not really taking any of it in? It's like every sentence I read is that. And I can finish a page and kind of be aware that my eyes have skimmed over words but my brain has just had like eight different tracks. I can't tell you what any of it was about. I can't remember how long I've been there or what words I've seen. The last book I actually completed was the final Harry Potter book in 2007. Uh, which I read very quickly and enjoyed. And since then I've tried audiobooks, but my mind drifts from those just as easily. And I tried playing them slightly faster and that made a bit of a difference, but still not great. I think the final book I tried was The Hunger Games and I read the beginning of it. And then I listened to the audiobook for some of the rest of it. And I don't remember if I finished it or not. And now I have no memory of that because I watched the film. So my memory's just like blurring them all together. So if you have any recommendations, that would be great. But I cannot tell you what kind of thing I like because I've never read a book as an adult. Wow. I've never read a book as an adult. That's crazy. So maybe something like short and also dystopian? Because it's on theme. Ro, I am deeply offended by my five out of 10 rating, but you are correct with your 10 out of 10 rating for Teddy. And I do agree that he is the best housemate. So, although that means I have to move out. So I don't know. Matthew, I'm glad scheduling is working out well for you. Uh, overbooking yourself is an issue and I have had that too. I don't know what the solution is. J just don't do that. Sorry about your painful absy butt, but well done. I've been really feeling the fact that I'm not doing my job. Venue bar work involves a surprising amount of like movement. There's lots of rushing around, lots of picking up buckets and jugs and all sorts of things. And then particularly all of my managery stuff is mainly deliveries and I do quite a lot of lifted and moving and I'm really feeling the fact that I'm not doing that. My arms are feeling like unused noodles and I don't want that. So I'm trying to work out and lift weights regularly so I don't waste away and I can get ever closer to that end goal of doing a single pull up. And also so that by the end of this, I'm still physically capable of doing my job. Never have I ever, here we go. Just make, just gonna make some room for the lads. This looks weirder now though. There's a window right there. It's not so bad when I'm just sitting and talking, but this all, this looks like it could be leading anywhere. Okay. Although, can I just call out this as an idea? It's all very well, us playing Never Have I Ever, but w do we go around again? Because otherwise, it's just the last person, which is me, is just gonna have... 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. Anyway. Hey, friends. Hello, Hannah. I'll go first. Never have I ever been to a school dance. I've actually not been to a school dance. I have. At my school, we just had the two prom things. One was at the end of GCSEs and one was at the end of A-levels. So that's age 16 and 18. But in Wales, it's only compulsory to go to school till you're 16. So the 16 one is kind of the main one. Next. Never have I ever sent a text to the person that the text was about. Yep. Yeah. I owned MSN, didn't I? Exactly. You said it, Matt. I couldn't even tell you specifically when it's happened. I just know it has. Never have I ever severely injured myself to impress someone. Right. Just to clarify, though, do you mean severely injured myself whilst trying to impress someone or severely injured myself in order to impress someone? Because I wouldn't be very impressed if someone, like, sawed off their arm. And I wasn't very impressed when you didn't even get that flag. Hey. But I have also done this, so. Oh, now it's my turn. Okay. Never have I ever, um, never have I ever broken a bone. I mean of your own. 